Hey, everyone. <clears throat> Holy shit. <laughs> as soon as I go to speak. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dib Tunes with your host, Sean Dibble, who's drinking a Mountain Dew and getting his voice ready for the actual intro. And us on the mic. Yes. Take it away, Sean. <laughs> Me and Bash. Thank, thank you, Bass. <laughs> I, I just wanted to open this with a deep-seated apology for, uh, for last week. We were not able to uh, get together to record. Um, at first, it was due to the holiday, the 4th of July holiday. Um, after that, it was uh, the following week we were not able to get together to record. Um, due to d- a medical emergency. It, there was a medical emergency um, among the group. And uh, um, everything is fine. Everything is, is taken care of. And I just wanted to start with that. Um, that uh, I said every week I had uh, episodes lined up, ready to go, and we ran through them uh, faster than I anticipated. So what's going to happen is we're going to end up having a couple of shorter episodes um, while we build up a little bit of a buffer, just so that a break like this is less likely to affect you, the listener, um, I want to bring you a weekly show without interruption. And we can do that. Um, they're just going to be slightly shorter and a, possibly a tiny bit less banter, specifically this exact episode, just because I'm taking up this time right now to let you guys know um, h- how things are going to go for just a little bit. But we are super excited to get back at the table. Yeah. Tom's eating pumpkin seeds. And everyone else is silent. And, <laughs> and uh, we can hear the excitement in the room. Um, what, oh, what, 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 are, those, are those just salted or are they flavored? Salted. Could I? Just salted roasted? Mm-hmm. No, they're, uh, they're sodium them. rocks with pumpkin flavoring on. <laughs> I... Bass, salt's a good flavor. I don't know what you're on about. Bass, if they were sodium rocks with pumpkin flavoring, I could eat them. <laughs> you know, Halloween used to be my favorite time of the year, not because of, like, candy and costumes, but because of the pumpkin seeds coming out of the oven with, like, a little bit of garlic salt. It was my favorite time of the year because of costumes. What's that, Chris? You're nowhere near the microphone because you're sitting in a fucking rocking chair. I thought chair. we said that we were going to cut back on the banter. You don't yet know what I said. Here we are. Yeah, here we are. I didn't say we weren't going to do any. I just said there wasn't going to be as much. <clears throat> no, uh, my favorite part about Halloween was the costumes. Full stop. Candy. What? C- candy, Andy? Candy, yeah. Exactly. Andy, candy. Bass, what was your favorite part of Halloween? Working at Ross Park Zoo and scaring people. Uh, I only did that for a couple of years. Uh, when I was a kid, obviously the candy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, no, scaring people so much fun. But you gotta dress up to do it. But the best Halloween memory was one of my dad's friends dressed up like Ozzy Osbourne and basically sounded exactly like Ozzy Osbourne handing candy, uh, candy out to kids, and it was great. <laughs> what did the best know at the time his dad's friend was Ozzy Osbourne? <laughs> I mean, his dad is... <laughs> Weird. Chad! What the fuck? I tried to do an ass oh. imitation. It was terrible. Oh. You gotta, <laughs> Cut you that gotta, from the script. You gotta sideline the mic. <laughs> Sharon! <laughs> Sharon! Don't shout in the mic. Don't. What the fuck is wrong? We're gonna do a you. shrieking impression of someone. Oh. Get, you can get close to the mic, just turn your head sideways so that you sideline it like this. Then you won't peek it. I have a better idea. Let's just beat him with a crowbar. Maybe he'll learn. Maybe you could maybe you can uh, shout Sharon to do a Randy Marsh impersonation, Andy. <laughs> Sharon! I thought this was America. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But, uh, I'm I only, sorry. I only bring up Halloween because of these pumpkin seeds that, that Tom uh, is, is munching on. They Tom, got what was your favorite part? Oh, it's of? between candy and pumpkin seeds. Between candy and pumpkin seeds, yeah. Candy got, pumpkin seeds. Got it. <laughs> they got integrity. These are very good pumpkin seeds. Give me a weird segment. They've been in my car for like a couple months yeah. now. <laughs> well, but they're pumpkin seeds, so they don't go bad. I'm surprised you haven't grown a whole damn pumpkin with them. <laughs> I mean, 
Halloween is a time for a lot of scary shit. And you guys are about to encounter a lot of scary shit. Nah. Nah. You've had... You've had Sick segue, bro. I will be the master of segues by episode 12. The master, I say. We really need to have a live show so that people can watch Sean ride like 17 segues at once. <laughs> I am the master of them. Alexa, remind me episode 12 of Sean has achieved master segue. I just pictured... A chariot. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know that one. With a bunch, instead of horses keep pulling it, it's just a, a thing of segways. And uh, I want one now. Not a segway, a chariot with a bunch of segways pulling it. Oh, well, you strike it big and it, that can be your new dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just so, go to work. <clears throat> I am the emperor! <laughs> can... People I need I need seventeen outlets. Fucking screaming into their mics. I need I need seventeen outlets to charge my uh to charge my segways. <laughs> so where I can plug in my segways so I can get home. <laughs> I've got. Eight. I have an extension cord with a uh, with like four power strips. If you can just let me plug it in somewhere. I've got twenty surge protectors. <laughs> It literally burns anything down that you plug it into. <laughs> I mean, I got a second extension cord if you want. I can divide it up between two, but is it okay if I just plug it into the same outlet? What if I just... <laughs> do you have a high-watt fuse on this uh, plug? One here at, for a what do you mean one at a time? One at a time would take forever. Oh, we were so close to just starting. So you guys, last week... Two weeks ago. Uh, two weeks ago. Oh my god, it's been so long. You guys... Wasn't it three weeks ago? Oh my god. No, two. It was two. Last... Fourth of July, medical emergency, and now we're here. E... That's two. That's two. That's two. We missed two weeks. We yeah, missed three two weeks sessions, ago. but it's been three oh. weeks. Whatever. It has been three weeks. What is that, time? that is how time works, apparently. <laughs> That's how math stu- works. Stupid construct time so you guys come out of hyperspace with albatross at the controls and forgot about that yeah a quick radar sweep revealed about 200 ships beginning to be identified and come up on the screen and Right around the same time as you get a chance to identify that and start... You you don't even get a chance to look at the names of the ship and who they're from before you have a warning going off that your ship has been target locked. Your radar picks up... is now picking up a rocket heading your direction. That's quite the introduction. It's very Yo, rude. Uh, and, Albatross, uh, what'd you get us into? Got lo- I, 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 didn't, I, just, I just did the ship, and you should just, like, I, I run away and just... <laughs> like, you, you, go go get him, Lightning! This is, this is your your deal. No? Do a barrel roll. <laughs> All right. So we have some choices to be made here. In a moment. You're, I, not, you're not coming through the mic at all. Sorry. We have some choices to be made here in a moment. So where's the biggest ship, Sean? Um, the biggest ship is uh, in orbit around the planet with about 10 to 15 um, ships that are about, you know, half its size and another 20. Hey, I stopped that from making a much louder noise. Yes, you did. <laughs> and then another 15 or 20 um, around that, around those of about your size ship. So faster harder hitting ships um the rocket is coming from one of the medium-sized ships that is kind of somewhat approaching you um approaching the uh the direction of where you came out of uh came out of the hyperspace lane with an albatross at the controls to try and make a helm roll to avoid that well could shoot it down 
constitution. It'd be cool if it'd be cool if you could do that. But currently, Albatross is at the is at the I, controls. I just literally I, said I panicked they ran. and ran away. Oh, you panicked and, and ran I told away. Lightning do I whatever that. I it takes. <laughs> so now Lightning is back at the helm, where they should be. Yes. So I'm gonna jump in, <laughs> try and avoid that, and then return it to sender if possible. And then jam the Euro beat. Boss, should I return fire? Uh, I guess. <coughs> you We're want to return here. fire against two hundred some ship? Did you not see? <laughs> what? What? what, what, it, what? <laughs> Arm the constellation cannon. Oh yeah, yeah. No don't worry. I'm uh. No, I'm we're all gonna die here. We're gonna we're gonna shoot back at them, and they're all going to fire at us. Did we just game over in Resident Evil? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that that was this thing that was happening constantly earlier. There we go. <clears throat> so you said a helm roll. Mm-hmm. All right, trying to avoid the rocket. It's a desperate position. Well, Partial you success. A, you get experience, at least. So, you veer out of the way, and the rocket skims your ship. And, uh, how many systems do you have? Like, what are the... What are, what, what are the number of the... What are the three? Or, I should really have your ship shut down. Because I can't edit through this. Do we have shields? Nope. So in that area around your ship, the drawing of your ship, how many boxes are there total? There it is. Five. Five. So start in the top left and count them as one, two, three, and then four, five going around the... T- the, the the thing. Wait, where? <clears throat> One. Okay. Oh, fuck. Two, Latin chain. Three, three four, 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 five. Because um, we got two weapons. Okay, yeah. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Yep. With a six being a re-roll. And go ahead and roll one die. One. What is slot number one? Fake transponder down. Fake trans. Your fake transponder is down. <sighs> you you uh, did not sustain any palpable damage to your ship. What now? Uh, I'm gonna take a shot. I'm gonna return fire with the uh, coherence cannon. The contusion cannon? <clears throat> so, wait, wait, line it up so that we can get that one and the big one. I'm aiming for the big one. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Take a shot. Um, so that's a helm or a scrap? Uh, wait, helm. Yeah, helm because okay. you're manning something ship related. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to burn a... Unless you're going to jettison yourself out mm-hmm. and hand-to-hand the ship. Which would be quite epic, but I don't think we're in the right system for that. Alright. I'm gonna stress begin, and begin the open push your, So you're pushing your roll? <laughs> yep. And. Uh, um, before I make this roll, can I uh, do a flashback? Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to do? Uh, I want to talk to... Which group were we in good with? What were their names again? The, the, the Scrappers? The Wreckers? The Wreckers. Um, you want to talk to Bobby O? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to... Oh, but I take it I want to talk to Bobby O. He wants to talk to Bobby O in a room filled with nitrogen. 
lower his voice and I. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you want to hey. talk to Bobby O? Anyways. So what do you need? Look, just in case something happens, I think that we could probably use some backup. I slip him a cred and tell him that if he sees the coherence cannon go off in, like, roughly this system that we're heading to... You gave him coordinates and a yes. date date and time? Yes. I tell him that that's the signal to come in with some guns. Back us up. There'll be plenty to, to scavenge. Just go ahead and take two stress. Okay. And that's all, all you do. There's no roll. Because... You know, Bobby O loves that plan. Oh, does he? This is gonna give Bobby O the place he wants in the organization. I'm hoping their ship goes down. This is gonna get <laughs> the wreckers the parts they need to fix their ship. So you and then we move up a tier. We dominate. And now is the time to make the roll. You did say there were 200 total ships, right? Yep. I'm just putting that out there for our viewers. <laughs> viewers? Listeners? <laughs> what? Just saying. Five. You got we, a five? We, yeah. we fucking bite it here. <laughs> so it hits... Um, it doesn't look like it took down any. It does looks like it did a sh- shit ton of damage, but it did. Um, it's the the ship is still coming at you. It's still operational. Um, there's a lot of sparks. So it looks like a few, like another few hits would take it out. All right, coherence cannons out of commission. And guys. as you're seeing that, you see from <clears throat> coming from around the other side of the planet. A group of about 10 junky looking ships coming in real fast. Cannons going off. And the ship you just shot at explodes in space, taking out its minor escort with it. Imagine the Battle of Helm's Deep at the end, but only 10 horses come and not the couple of fucking hundred we need. <laughs> We're gonna save you, Gandalf. <laughs> Fabio comes over your comms into the ship. Y'all clear, kid. Now let's blow this thing. Go home. All right. <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> After that, I'm just like, boss, there's your distraction. Do with that how you want. I'm moving to the uh, <clears throat> to other weaponry, I guess. Yep. Other things. What's uh, any, everyone else's helm score? Zero. Also zero. Okay, so it's me and Tom. Yeah. And I can't stress my, <laughs> I can't push myself again or else I take a trauma. I might be able to bring back up the, the transponder. I can pray. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it and pray to fucking God. Yeah, why don't you do that? See you know what, Sean? Works. I'm going to just go to my room and pray that we somehow fucking make it out of this alive. Well, we took out the big ship, and it, he said it took out its some of, escort. How many some of How many escort. escorts did it have? Um, well, you didn't take out the biggest ship. You took out the ship, the medium-sized one that was coming toward you. But, it had, about, but it had about ten other ships, smaller ships about your size, with it. Um... So we're dealing with 189 now. Oh, that makes me feel great. Um, I only rolled a maximum of a five on a prey check. <laughs> for what? what were to you... pray for our set. We make it out of this alive. He, he rolled in a tune. I rolled in a tune. He rolled in a tune. To somehow... <laughs> um, okay. So what do you want to do, do uh, Captain Pilot guy? Um... We have a white flag anywhere? I'm gonna give a 
plus one die for that. If you had gotten a six, I would have given plus two. And plus one is better than plus you. one die. Nothing. <clears throat> to uh, whatever the next uh, helpful roll here is, and I would really think Tom is gonna. I think we're just gonna try and land on the planet. Try to get through and uh. Gonna you know, use the, land and... the wreckers as uh as a diversion at this point. Uh, okay. Well. Yeah, screw them. I don't give a shit. We can't beat 189 ships in Correct. open combat. Like. Well, I'm glad Lightning has common sense. I've always had common sense. Oh, yeah, man, I just took the fucking... I, look, Lightning could have told me not to fire, and I would have listened, but, like, they didn't, so... I Albatross, if we had hit the big ship and it had exploded, we probably could have taken on the remaining people. Well, I'm in my room, so I don't hear this. I'm just saying... <laughs> Well, what you roll the land there, Tom? What, yep. You get a plus one die to this, yeah. so if you choose to helm, I think that's a four for you. No, it's three. To see oh, how, three. how how you do entering the atmosphere. Hey, that's a six. That's a six. You uh, slip past, make it through the atmosphere fine, and land in a section of the planet that's uh, in the twilight area. Um, That's why this planet doesn't rotate, right? This planet planet does not rotate. One side is exposed to the sun at all times. And the other side is complete darkness. With a ring of twilight surrounding it. That became more and more clear as you came closer to the planet. From far away, it would just look like one side black, the other side lit up. But as you came closer, you were able to see that, that sweet spot. Where the temperature would be bearable. <clears throat> so you land. The outskirts of a... Um, what looks like a mining town. With a lot of... Ground vehicles. Armor-plated ground vehicles. Um, ready to go. They got big treads. Like they're ready for... For sand, like they're ready for desert. They're ready for extreme heat. Are they the empires or not the empires? Uh, they are the hegemony, I would believe. Someone want to or... study? You or... know what? Yeah, I'll roll a study Yeah, I'll do, I'll do that too. So you guys... No, I can't discern anything <laughs> about them. I probably don't even know the maker. Here, I'll roll my one study. Oh, you at least have one. I don't know if my nobility gets me anything. I rolled a one. <laughs> Not even fucking and, looking at Andy, what did you roll on study? A one and a two. You're did landing, did you roll your, a uh... four? <clears throat> Chris? No, 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 man. I have you zero roll. study. I got a one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so you guys don't. You, you see symbols. Um, I will say that one symbol, you, you see various symbols on various vehicles. One symbol you do recognize um, from your first job what it was on the escorts of the ship the for the cult of seekers so um you can guess that things are stacked against you landing where you're landing um uh i mean ha- ha- if you had landed anywhere you wouldn't have known where you were going it's almost uh better off if you at least have some place where you can gather information or steal some information. So that is where you are. What do you want to do? Well, you did manage to land us lightning, so I, I, I give you props for that, but... Never not landed <clears throat> us. This is true. You, you have put us in very... Never mind. So did you just a second ago. <laughs> I like, didn't do anything. Look, it just you happened. Did, I Deal entered perfectly. No one gave me any intel that there'd be 200 edge hegemony ships there. Well, shouldn't your magic mumbo jumbo have told you? Oh my god, you know nothing of it. <laughs> stop, stop. You're tainting it. Stop speaking about it. <laughs> don't, let, don't let the words roll off your tongue. More importantly, sometimes unexpected things happen and you just have to react. Yeah, and the reaction to 200 ships <laughs> shouldn't be shoot one of them down. Because I'm pretty sure after the hegemony is dealing with Bobby O and his band of 
belligerents. They're they going to be coming for our asses. For us. Yes, sure. Yes. But like, they were already we going to do gotta, that. Yeah, <clears throat> they were just going to shoot us out of the air if we hadn't yeah. done anything. Like, I'm going to defend ourselves. I'm sorry that you, for some reason, what? Why are you on this ship? We could have done something diplomatic. Maybe sent like an SOS, put up a white flag, and we couldn't like do that. that. Our transponder got taken out with the first shot. Oh, I didn't. They know also that. fired a first shot before we we said could do anything. anything. Like. <sighs> They made that choice for us. So how about that key? What? Hmm? Yeah. 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 Maybe Let's stop giving it. boss a hard time. <laughs> You're the one that knows the magics. <clears throat> All right. Well, I think we should go to the town first and uh, get to know the locals. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Sounds like a great plan. Ahead in town. <laughs> okay. I go into town. I mean, like, I can't do anything else. So, <clears throat> you guys head into town, and <clears throat> you're going in in a risky position. Everything was standard effect oh, to gather this information. And so you see... um Lots of bunkhouses, like group bunkhouses, um, with corp- corporation names printed on them. You see uh, a pub. Um, you see mechanics. Uh, you see parts dealers. Um, and that's about it. There's not much there. There's a, um, a few spots for landing and takeoff. A very small, self-contained <clears throat> little mining operation. They just bring it there and they ship it off world. What All you right. doing? I'm gonna go talk with uh, the miners. They seem the miners. They seem like they'd be. I'm gonna go talk with the miners. They seem like they'd be my kind of people. Like the children. No, like the people who mine. <laughs> oh, okay, those miners. <clears throat> Mimers? You they mean mimes? Speak. Bunch of mimes? <laughs> well, right, you can't see Sean uh, because it's obviously a podcast. He has been trapped in, behind a barricade yeah. of some kind. Almost an invisible box. It looks like there's no way out of it, so I guess the game's over. And if you subscribe at $200, you can let Sean out of the box. Or choose to put the box into the crusher. <laughs> oh, that would have been great for the, like, the, the, the... I wish I had a piece of glass to break. I wish that had been at the 50-minute mark. So, like... <laughs> oh, so we end it on, <laughs> will you put Sean out of the box? $200. <laughs> if you don't, you don't get the next episode. <laughs> that was a fun bit and then we email you his that was obituary a, that was a fun bit for radio that was a really fun bit for radio all right so you were you guys uh what are you uh what are you trying to do chris uh fun bit for gorilla uh, radio. just gonna try to get some some talk out of them just gonna try to get some talk out of them you know just gossip or whatnot just kind of walk up and be like hey all these hegemony soldiers, they suck, right? I'm going to go up to a random guy You're gonna and roll... beat him with my big I'm wrench. rolling command. That feels like a way to, like, I don't know. How is that command? You're, uh... It's it's pretty, well... You're, uh, Here's this big guy who's walking up to you and just being like, hey. What is your end goal? The key. Find simp- Find somebody who has sympathy or at least sympathizes with the fight against the hegemony get information from them okay return the information i think you should it would be a consort if you're walking up and saying it like that don't you think just intimidate him that's what i was trying to do but Inti- he's but, saying not to do that so but wait you're intimidating them but I'm a physically imposing person walking up right. and telling them that the occupying forces who could kill probably anyone who dissents 
bunch of jerks are yeah are assholes like i'm just blatantly saying that okay okay yeah go ahead and roll roll command either i'm getting shot or they're getting shot we don't know someone is getting shot that's all that we know i got a six I think someone's just pissing their pants. They look <clears throat> terrified that you would say that out in the open. They are absolutely mortified. Um, <laughs> I don't even know how to handle this. Well, nobody turns me in, so that gives me enough information that they uh, that they aren't sympathizers to the hegemony. That they're not grateful for hegemony rule. That's pretty much why... Or my... they're scared shitless of you. Well, that's S- too. One stammers to you, like, you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't say that. You can't say that. I, you can't be that loud about that around here, especially right now. First yeah. off, we don't bite the hand that feeds, no matter how little we like them. Second, how long have you been here? They're They're everywhere right now. Oh, yeah, no, I can... I definitely can see that, yeah. They think they found something out there, and they're... they're I mean, we, when we we dug up something, we reported it, and all of a sudden this, we, we can barely see... Look at all those ships up in the sky. You look up, and yeah. you can see the battle mm-hmm. going on. It looks like it's petered out quite a bit. Oh, almost certainly was gonna. <laughs> um, you do see, see a lot of... Sh- you do see some... Sh- uh, look... Uh, Looks like some ships are making jumps, like there's little streaks All right. that some are leaving. Oh man, thank God our jump drive didn't fucking get blown out. That would have sucked. Our exit what strategy would have been gone. What exit strategy? <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright. Yeah, that's fair enough. Look, we might be able to help get rid of them. What exactly did you find? Just large carved stone. Just lo- large carved like we didn't keep we stopped digging when we found it, so there may be more down there. Do you know around where you found it? Could you like draw a map? He gives you the uh, the digital coordinates, like oh, you know, GPS. Right, maps are obsolete. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh. What the fuck's he the says, map? He says, "Don't try, don't try digging into it. Yeah. It's just gonna, it's just gonna, br- it's just gonna break your tip like it did ours." And you look over, and they have a diamond tip driller, like a, like a big mole like machine, like oh, a man, tunneler. They, they didn't, and even it was get broken. The tip in? No, they couldn't even get the tip in. That's quality uh, chastity belt. <laughs> well, the point is that it was a diamond tipped. Yeah. I, I heard you. Uh, cutting in it. My uh, my Bro, science it looks isn't like the it greatest. Was, you look at it and it was sh- it looks like it's shattered. Well, thank you for your time and your help. We'll R- try to get these bastards off your planet. Rushes off, just kind of nodding, like looking left and right, nodding away, like yeah, the f- <laughs> the market's over there. He yells over his shoulder as he walks away. Thanks. I didn't ask anything about the market. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, yeah. Okay. I don't know if anyone else is doing anything. Oh, I'm doing Lewis something. Went into the town or something. I'm going to um, attune to see if I can find any other mystics and ask them the uh, the what haps. The what has, what Let's see what we can get here. Alright, I rolled a six. Nice. Okay. If I can find any other uh, people like me. So you attune to the way. And it's kind of like kind of like a trail leading through the town of people who have disturbed the way and whatnot. And uh, (laughs) you can kind of see the lines and recognize who has a connection to it and whatnot. And there's a very 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 strong someone with a very strong connection to the way here I'm going somewhere here to follow the trail before me it leads you 
to the market. <laughs> Into the pub. Oh, okay. How does this pub look? Is it a typical Western pub? Uh, I mean, you, you walk through um, a, uh, a sliding, automatic sliding door. Closes tight behind you with an air seal. Um, you look around. There's no music playing. There's a light chatter. And there mm-hmm. are uh, workers all around different company names on their backs. Um, And there's a table of uh, uh, soldiers off in the corner with two more tables of people who look like officers in in a military. You don't know if it's private or direct from the hegemon. Either way, it's probably not good. The uh, way is leading you toward that officer's table. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Um. Huh. Hmm. Uh, do they look uh, like they're half in the bag already? No. No. <clears throat> awesome. They're quietly sipping drinks. Mm. They're not even allowed. It looks like high end stuff. They're not even the loud, rambunctious kind of soldiers. They're very, uh, reserved with their alcohol. Yeah. Why don't you walk right up and talk to them? That's not going to happen, so, uh... <laughs> uh, uh... Pass on me while I think of what the hell I want to do here. Okay. <clears throat> What's Lightning doing? Um, waiting for those two to get back. Okay. Oh, you never even headed into town. No. No. That's fair. I don't do the words good. I think I know what Andy's doing. What am I doing? You fixing the ship? You're fixing our fake transponder. Yeah. And the cohesion camera. <laughs> What's the cost to repair? Um, Books, right? There's, there's... Well, I know he has an ability. Right, that's during a downtime, that, though. Yeah, that's oh, okay. That, that's fair. He's trying to work on something in the few hours that you two are doing. I'm going to expend my special armor and use my other ability to just fix it. Okay. Six. Okay. So he gets the transponder working with a a paper clip, some duct tape, repatches the wire, reroutes it. While you guys are in town, so something a little bit of other information that you get that you gather, uh, Arachnid, your character's uh, call sign is your yep. nickname. Yep, that is correct. Um, one of the other things that you get information wise is that uh, with the way the heat comes off of the planet, ships don't last long out there. The way it's coming down and then being reflected back out. So you, you're going to need some form of ground vehicle to go out there. <clears throat> I uh, get on a communicator and kind of like make sure to. Uh... Sorry, I get on a communicator uh-huh. and I make and make sure we're on a secure channel before I make the statement of. Of, hey guys, has anyone ever wanted to steal, like, a tank or something? If yes. any of our if any of our listeners would like to buy a rocking chair, contact uh, Chris. <laughs> please, please contact Chris. I really can't part with this, I'm oh sorry. But you could not use it while we record. <laughs> oh god, no, not gonna happen. If we even go to another building, I'm bringing it with me. I'm not session. letting you. <laughs> Chris finds a rocking chair at the it's new like place. It's like his grandfather's. <laughs> Guys, I found this in the basement. Like grandmother's, yeah. He, he can, can I can I speak with the uh, bartender of said bar? You can use it during any other yes. session. Yes, you can. Turns around. <clears throat> what can I do for you? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yes. Um, 
I, I'll, in character, I'll just order a, a basic drink, like a martini or something. Do they sell those here? I don't even know. They got the high-end drinks Gives over you a there. basic, basic right. futury space drink. All right. <clears throat> I don't. I don't drink. I don't drink normal drinks these days. I don't know what they'll have in the future. All right. So I just kind of like discreetly nod my head in the direction of the uh, the 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 army, the people, and it's like, so so what's their deal here? They seem uh, to be well, in a higher tier of their own compared to everyone else currently in the bar. You ask a lot of questions. I've asked one question. If one's a lot, then... It's a lot about that. If I ask two, then what do you consider that? A metric I don't time? know that I can tell you. Anything. I can't divulge information about customers. It's a, it's a bar. I thought that's what they did here. I thought that... Uh, I've... I've, I've I've seen movies where you just walk up to a barkeep and you, you you talk to them and they just spill the secrets. What? Some secrets are very expensive. What kind of business are you running? A good one. One where he gets to live. <laughs> one where you pay him for the information you want. Okay, listen. Out of character, I stashed all my creds, so... <laughs> That's on you. <laughs> Shame to be you, Bass. I can't just start pa- greasing some palms there. I got no palms. I got no grease to be palming. <laughs> Should have kept some of it out. <clears throat> well, all right. Fine. Keep your secrets. I mean, you could, you could try to sway. Chat. You know what? Sure. I'll, I'll, I'll sway with my... I take a disadvantage on this. You want to push to get one? You know what? Give me a devil's... Let, let me hear devil's bark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you'll get the information. You'll you'll get the extra die, but no matter what, the table is gonna overhear you. Yes, I love that. All right, a disadvantage we go. <laughs> really, you could push yourself. Yeah. We're we're at the beginning. I'm not stressing myself already. All right, I just leave the bar and we'll go back. Would you no roll? No, no, no. What, no, no, no. Four and a two. Roll? So I take four the two. And a two. So I, I don't get anything. You don't get anything, but you still ah, you you still pushed it a little bit. I didn't, I didn't push anything. I literally didn't push it. You that's, put, what sway, no, no. That, that, yeah. that's what sway. That's what sway. Oh, like, like I was like what? like you're trying to get the information, so you're trying to you tried to sway him. It doesn't matter. Um, so there's a consequence for that failure, which is why I was trying to get you to at least roll one die. Uh-huh. So they do overhear you as the consequence of failure. And as you're turning around, there's someone standing right behind you and your way radar just kind of like explodes I just uh, kind of speak about the barkeep and it's like, well, it seems I've gotten the information that I want. Maybe not in the way I wanted it, but... It's walking away very fast. Oh, as, you're, as you're speaking to him. <laughs> like, as you, like, turn... As you, like, you're speaking as you turn around and his back is to you and he's, like, walking away from you, like, looking, <clears throat> looking over his shoulder. Oh, well, what am I looking at here? Who's this person? You're looking at a very tall woman with blonde hair um just like like a brick house okay she's built um and uh how do i put this well it seems to be the problem miss we were going to ask you for asking so many questions about us when we just got radio transmission that we should be looking for strangers down here <clears throat> well, at this point, are you now asking me too many questions? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is why I wasn't a comedian in my previous life. Um, I would love to see Bass deal with the police. <laughs> she begins Sir, to please laugh. don't ask any questions. She begins to laugh and laugh and laugh, and suddenly her head snaps very still, looks you square in the eye. And you're going to take level three psychic harm as she tries to squeeze your brain till you're gonna, un- unconscious. I'm going to roll the defend here. Yeah, roll the re- uh, resist. 
your uh, which I assume resolve is what I'm going to be using. The physical. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Two sixes. So you lose a stress. Okay. You actually lose a stress. Your your stress. Well, one mark is relieved, and her eyes open wide as she looks at you and takes a step back. <clears throat> um, Rude. You, you actually wait with a critical. Do you still, you still take, take level, level two. two harm? Okay. Um. Brain squeeze. B- brain squeeze. Uh, sure, I'm just gonna you, put. You, you, I mean, it's you better like than a... brain hemorrhaging. <laughs> it's better than brain hemor- hemorrhaging and uh, <laughs> like a bloody nose and whatnot. <clears throat> what are you? <laughs> I can't. I'm just wondering. Should I just like walk away? And like, yeah, rude, and just walk. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yeah, yeah. Walk away from a combat wait a minute. Scenario. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I think I can uh, I can wheel this in my favor here and just be like, <clears throat> I am a person that could potentially be working towards the goals that you and the hegemony. I'm assuming you're part of the hegemony, correct? Commander. Commander of Hegemonic Forces. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm here with a little ragtag crew, and we're looking to get these keys, okay? You also want these keys. I don't want to be with them anymore, so we can, like, help each other out here, okay? Out of character, you fucking (laughs) douchebag. (laughs) Two weeks ago, you knew I was, uh... are offering to betray your, your crew, with a little condition, I don't want them dead. I think they're honestly a nice bunch. But we can do all kind of like the hard work for you. And then, and then, yeah. So just give me a little information on the direction of this key. And then you and your soldiers can sit peacefully and just uh, drink whatever the heck it is you drink here. <clears throat> and maybe give us something to oh, get Bats, out there. Oh, you better never slip up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're going to die. <laughs> come come sit with us. Let's uh let's discuss a plan. And you um do you sit with them? Yes. So you sit down with them and they discuss a plan at great length. Okay. And this uh plan ends up with you walking away from them with keys to a rover. Nice. And um enough equipment to do, to get where you're going. Hell yeah. Um before you leave, she uh, whispers into the another uh, another ear, and uh, the man nods. And she turns to you and says, "Just one more thing before you go, because this has to look legitimate." <sighs> you already and did as it. you and as you uh, <laughs> God, you weren't satisfied with the first engagement. As um. As you uh, turn your head toward the man who stands up, who is stand up and come next to you, he strikes you across the face, giving you level one harm, bloody nose. What happens when you have two level one harms? You get you get a level effect. two harm. No, no. Oh, the second level one harm means that now all God. die rolls will be at less effect. If you take a second level two harm. You get minus one die to all rolls. I'm, g- I'm gonna nail that thing to the floor so it doesn't rock anymore. I'm just gonna nail it in the yeah, forward not position. Option. Not an option. Can we get another downtime so I'm not going in with half my harm fucking fill? Or more than half, because you only I'm can just have one level three. I'm rocking like a uh, mic arm, and if if I do do this, there's no that's not happening. It's getting like strapped. Oh no, a, ro- a rocking mic arm would be fucking sweet. All right. So, you guys, um, so basically Alatros comes back to you with this information back at the ship. I taught you some keys. So basically you figure when the shifts change, you can just take it and leave. You've essentially accomplished the score with, you know, the only payout being that. So you have a little bit of downtime, but it's you're in a very limited situation. Oh my god. <laughs> so for this, um Yeah, I mean any doctoring actions would be will be done by you know, you know the only doctor you have, which is Andy. 
Fix um, me. <laughs> they can't be. You are not able to pay more cred to um, up the die roll. Um, you can't. Uh, there is a doctor in town. Um, actually, that would make sense. Yeah. That they have the medical staff. I apologize for not even considering that. Yeah, no, never mind. So you can obviously, um, and you can pay him more to do a better job. So, um, well, there is no, no <laughs> there's no payout. There is no upkeep, though. That's good. Um, and you basically get one skip upkeep for free. There's nowhere to pay upkeep to. Yeah. What now? Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I guess I'm just going to... I can't do my usual de-stressing, but I think I'm just going to go to the bar and get fucking, like... Space, just, space yeah, blasted. Just gonna get trashed. <laughs> yeah, I'm going into this shitty. Why? <laughs> uh, I get us the perfect setup, and this is how you repay me. Um, actually, no. I question how you got something so fucking. Now perfect. that we're in but downtime, I just look at you and go, "The way is a great asset," and that's not I even a lie. I need a lot more information. I want details. That's all I'll leave you with. Is the I want to know exactly. No, I want to know exact. All right, whatever. <laughs> and I just go to the bar at this point. <laughs> you did this to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Baz, you, you can roll your your doctor. Oh God. Uh, what do I, I what do I need to roll again? I forgot. Uh, are are you guys tier two? Yep. So you guys are tier two. So, um, you get a bonus two die. Oh, you can God. pay a cred to you up it, oh, but you I don't have any no cred, cred. So, okay. I'm just you know what, honestly because I'm at two stress. I'm just going to do this twice. Frayer. You can call in debt. six. Okay, which two. is five. Five. Okay, and then we're just gonna. Oh, I'm guaranteed to at least and, get one of these and, harms. And all your level one harm is gone. Oh, oh my yeah. fucking god! Oh, hell, Dude, no. all, all harm lowers by one, so your level one's gone, and your level two becomes a level one. Correct. When I fill the clock, or yes. Okay, so I would need to roll one more time, which I get it. I am guaranteed it because no matter what, yeah. I always get one. Okay, yeah. cool. Nice. So now my head is just a little reeling instead. Okay. So I double down on that one. Or I'm good. I'm gonna continue with Plan B. Okay. Who'd you get pregnant? <clears throat> the whole planet. This is actually an episode of Rick and Morty. I got a four. Four is two. <laughs> Our coherence can in this space. For when you find out I'm a traitor and you just want to put me in front of it. <laughs> oh, there's other things I can do. Yeah, we're going to space you. We can space you. I can just beat the shit out of you with martial arts. We. We can beat the shit out of him. Do you have martial arts? Because that's, that's an individual. No, thing. I have a giant fucking Note to self, wrench. make sure to get scrapped to three so I can at least go down fighting if I have to. <laughs> I got scrapped at two. Or I could just, you know, fucking so, shoot you with a bunch of blasters. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and train. Okay. Has everyone done down, downtime then? I think Tom's we're just waiting stuff. on the lightning. Tom's looking at things. Also, your experience is very short score. Yeah, yeah that's true. Um, uh, I think I've just got one more of those and I'm good. But if uh, I'm going to acquire shields for the ship, Sean. Okay. You got enough money for that and experience and whatnot? It's just acquiring an asset. Okay. I want to make it clear that I'm extremely suspicious of Bass's character, who has never proven themselves to be this <laughs> fucking competent, suddenly coming up with the perfect fucking shit. Yeah. It is a little odd... Mark Shields, like, Chris. I'm eyeing you. Chris, Mark What's Shields. Up? Okay. <laughs> the way is just really Where good. It's, a, it's great. It's wonderful. Okay. It's at the bottom. Sweet. So, oh, okay, yep. So I'm not even going to roll engagement because you have you have keys and everything, and it's a good plan. So you guys leave that night in a controlled position with your... Uh, yes, but controlled for who? For the group. Yeah. 
for the ro- <sighs> with a rover. And you head out into the uh, into the desert. <clears throat> and we will pick up there with you guys next week. We're going to keep playing. So we'll see you guys next week. You guys get to hear this. And we get to play it right now. Thanks a lot. Thanks for listening. Diptoons Plays Podcast is a Diptoons Animation Studio production. Produced by Sean Dibble and Derek Goodison. Edited by Sean Dibble. Music from Pixabay.com. Like and follow us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Dibtoons. That's D-I-B-T-O-O-N-S. And on Twitter at Toons Dib. That's T-O-O-N-S-D-I-B. Thanks for listening.